So yeah, this is worth this uh, helps to um, ensure that the random number generation is truly random. I, I can't remember what it does now. If it all oh, right, yes, it it carries the entropy pool across it. The random number generator is less predictable because he's using the same pool all the time rather than it being reset. So it's just a boot script. We're just going to sources into BLFS boot scripts. BL, sorry, we need to go into BLFS next, don't we? Then the BLFS boot scripts, and we just run that command in make install random. And we can start that off now as well so that it's it can be shut down correctly when we turn off the machine if there is a, indeed a shutdown script it looks like there is that last k is for kill the s is the startup scripts so that is a good idea to start this off now so there that's good that started so that really is the end of the configuration. Oh, just one thing I've got to do is to add a normal user. So if you remember the command was user add, we can put that in and we can get all the details about adding a user. You see there's quite a bit of information there. So the basic form is to user add, specify any options and then the login name. So the ones we probably are interested in user add now I believe um, this option here home dir I believe the default home dir is in the home directory because that's what the home dir is set to um, and it's the name of the user so we don't need to specify that you'd only specify that if it's in a different location uh, If we don't specify a group, I believe we get a default group for the user, which is safer than putting it in a user's group. So I'm going to create the kernel text user. And I'm going to see if it's got the correct settings, including the skeleton files. So I've created a kernel text user. Let's look at it in the home. There it is. Um, and you'll see that there's the name of the user, kernel text. And it's created a kernel text user and a group kind of text which is just what I want so let's look into the directory itself yes it's copied the scale files automatically so that's good so that option is obviously just for an alternative location for the skeleton files so now I should be able to log in as that user no I shouldn't because I haven't set the password so let's log back in and I'll set the password for the kernel text user and it's PAWSWD. Specify the username and it asks for the password. So I'm going to put a password in and it's done. So now I'll be able to log on with that user. And there it is, and it's working as well with the green uh, prompt as well to show that we're a normal user. Just see what groups I'm in. Just the kernel text group, which makes sense. I want to see if I can become the root user next. And let's type in the root user's password, and that does work as well. So that's fine. So now I can carry on doing the rest of the uh, build as a normal user and only become the root when I absolutely need to. So um, that's it for this video. The next video I'll be going through starting to install some packages which are security related. I'll be picking out a few which I consider to be fairly important. I won't be installing all of the security uh, packages but certainly some of them uh, there will be others I imagine that will need to be installed as we install other packages so I'll just come back to them but things like the certificates for uh, 
you're authenticating uh, various objects like the web access, uh, the crack lib library for password checking. I'll be installing and maybe uh, one or two other. Oh, PAM, the pluggable authentication modules will be installing as well. That's uh, another layer of security that can be put in. Um, and I'll also be putting in sudo as well because uh, that's uh, a useful way to become the root. It's, uh, it can be more secure in some, some instances. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, please thumbs up and subscribe to me as well if you want to uh, be notified when I post up the other videos in this series or, or indeed any other videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.